Today we're going to look at the YXE 1000 hour billet thermostat housing we make. Part number is 10025. Alright, here it is. It's a simple part. The reason we made this part is to add a second temperature sensor. You could also use it for a pressure sensor. So if you're adding a temp gauge or data logging for racing, things like that, this gives you a good, easy option for bolting it on. This goes on the passenger side of the engine. So it's pretty uh, well seen and it should stick just like that with the logo. So it looks cool. The hose comes off here, goes straight to the head and then up front here goes uh, to the front of the engine to uh, the radiator and stuff. So I have a stock one here we pulled off just to show you guys. That's the difference. So we're gonna replace this part right here. You can see the stock one has these stocks temperature sensor. That'll transfer over and go into this bottom hole right here. And then this front cap right here. So pretty much to get it out of the car, what I would do is just pinch off this front hose, pinch off the back hose, take off this clamp and this clamp and pull it out and put it on the bench. Uh, you can keep it in the car if you want, however you want to do it. So I've already loosened these bolts. This will be an eight millimeter socket to loosen these. You want to take these out. Pretty easy, pop it apart. So from here, this is a sock thermostat. Uh, we've had some issues with the sock thermostat, so we recommend just leaving that in there. Don't even use it to the new one. So uh, basically all we're gonna do is transfer over this cap and the O-ring to the housing. So it'll pretty much be a straight through at that point. Pretty easy. So you want it facing like that. Make sure the O-ring doesn't get pinched. A couple things. So this cap is uh, like a hard plastic and we've seen problems with them either just warping or eroding. So we do make a billet plastic or a billet housing cap also. It's part number 10026 and also the O-ring. So O-ring wise, you're good to use the stock one. There's nothing wrong with that as long as it's in good shape. If you wanna get an O-ring from us also, it's part number 10112. So a couple options there. Otherwise just uh, reassemble it, line it up good, put it together and then put your bolts back in. You want to torque those to seven foot-pounds. Once the bolts are back in, you can transfer over the temperature sensor from the factory one and then install your other temperature sensors. So this is eighth inch NPT. Most aftermarket temp sensors uh, will fit as long as you're the eighth inch NPT. It has lots of room in there to protrude, so you should be good. I haven't really ran into one that didn't fit yet. So once you get your sensors in there, just put it back in the vehicle. It's going to face like this. Uh, hose clamps back tight. Take your line uh, clamps off and then just top off the coolant. That's it. Check out our website, wellracing.com.